Welcome back to the TCO 18 Finals. I'm your host, Nick Castillo, alongside James Corey. James, how you doing? Hello. Uh, We're getting through the day. Yeah. Um, we don't have a guest today, because I'm the guest. You're the guest. Can a host be a guest? I think it could. I think you're the first one to ever do it on a Do TCO I get paid t-shirt. twice? That you have to take up with the TCO queen. Two times zero is zero. <laughs> that's true. Right. Dad he jokes. can do math. He can do math. Dad so jokes. That's good. Um, so, um, so we're going to be talking about the first to finish competition today. Yeah. Um, do you know what the statement is? What they're working on? I don't know on? anything. Okay. I'm kidding. This is the worst guess we've ever had. <laughs> uh, first to finish. Um, yeah. I mean, he could talk. Uh, he could, but he, he's, he wants to listen to you, so Ugh, we thing. both are curious. What are they working on? Well, Adam, uh, first I'll start with what the track is, because we actually on, uh, I think it was the Twitch stream, we got a question about what the first to finish track is. Um, it's literally aptly named first to finish, meaning um, it's a challenge that's run on Top Coder for small amounts of work. Um, usually it is about um, deterministic pieces of work. Um, whereas a code challenge, you can do something better than somebody else. Mm -hmm. First to finish is usually defined where it needs to be done. It's either done or not. Not correct, uh, or not not better than somebody else, but but done. And um, time matters. So if you submit first and mm -hmm. don't pass, somebody submits behind you and passes, they win because of the first to complete it successfully. Okay. Um, in this competition specifically, there's a little bit more to do. We we. We gave them a little bit more to do to fill the time to make it more difficult than what a standard first to finish challenge would be. So the people that are here in this track are the people that save people like my lives in, uh, <laughs> in, in client work because you run a code challenge and the submission's great, but the client kind of changes their mind on something. So you throw out a code challenge, and for me, you know, it's usually at the end of my day, I'll throw out a code challenge, I'll go to bed, somebody on the other side of the world will finish it in four hours, and when I wake up, the submission, the solution is there. Um, that's where we use these a lot. And um, people compete in a lot of these first finish, finish challenges because it's easy to pick up also while you're waiting on a response on a forum on a larger code challenge or something. People register for multiple things at the same time. Um, but we have, uh, I believe, 10 people um, in this, this uh, competition. The leaderboard's behind me. We'll get to that in a second. But the, the problem statement for this is um, actually we're, we're filling... He's still freaking me out. <laughs> um, we're... <laughs> We're filling our own need a little bit uh, with TopCoder. Uh, a lot of people at TopCoder use Trello, um, which is a, uh, a card board. You think about right. post-its on a wall. Mm -hmm. um, you can make different columns for this is upcoming, this is what we're working on now, this is done, whatever you use Trello for. Um, and we've actually made, we're making huge architectural changes within TopCoder to move to an event bus. So everything that happens now on TopCoder is spewing messages everywhere. Um, you can listen to these messages and do something. Um, we can provide that to our clients and they can you know, in integrate into their tooling to see where challenges are or, or download things when they're submitted or whatever. It's, um, it's kind of a, a, a huge change within TopCoder. What this challenge specifically does is create, they're supposed to create a listener um, for that message queue um, and on certain messages change state of challenges. So um, when you run a code challenge, uh, it may be in draft and then it launches and the, the registration phase is open, then the submission phase is open, then it's in review and then it's in review appeals and then it's done. Um, a lot of uh, people like me use Trello to say, you know, we're running these challenges, uh, these, these challenges are upcoming, this one will happen. And what this message bus and this listener will do is actually physically move the challenge cards across Trello for you. So you don't have to go into our tools and say, where is this challenge? Oh, let me update Trello. Where is this challenge? Oh, the, you know, the submissions are here and I need okay. to download them. So we can start to build this really robust tooling on the side. So, right. Uh, um, and, <laughs> and, uh, and this is the start of that. So this is what they're building. And like I said before, this is a lot more than you would normally fit into a first to finish. But for TCO, that's why we did it that way. Exactly. So do you want to switch over to the leaderboard and we can talk well, about Well, let's uh, first oh. check out who we have oh, right, in the right, first right. to finish competition. My boy Akinwale is there, man. Akinwale. He, uh, he won it last year. Um, he started for the first time, right? That's his, he's first to finish, been a finalist for four yes, TCOs. Yes. First to finish is all about speed, and he showed up late and still won. So, <laughs> so he's I fast. I don't know how he pulled it off, but he's a magician. <laughs> Um, some of these handles don't look as familiar as others, but Shareth Kumar and Thomas Kranitas are um, 
you know, they're my my guys on my challenges. Usually, um, Thomas. I mean, he's now more co-pilot than uh, than straight up developer. But I've used him uh, a lot for these first finishes, and he turns things around in minutes, which is crazy. <laughs> uh, Shareth, uh, he does a lot of work uh, for my challenges on the API side. So this is kind of right up his alley because this is um, for this challenge. They're provided a Swagger doc and have to implement the API to listen. Um, so it's he's gonna you know he's he's the leader <laughs> or he's the uh, front runner the favorite yeah, that's the, the word favorite. that's the word I'm looking for no. so I mean this is pretty amazing to look at it we have three returning finalists and how many that's seven new um, Com yeah new, competitors new, new, new to TCF track. but Sheriff Kumar usually um, I think he's more in code I think he, he focuses okay. in the code track a lot more uh, but he he won his trip here in the first to finish this time. Um, but yeah, he does a lot of application, you know, full application development on my my project specifically. Right. Um, and uh, but yeah, first to finish, man, he's 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 definitely over there. I was watching him. He's using Ubuntu. Um, we can switch to his. Can we switch to his machine, or you want to show the leaderboard? Where do you want to go? Um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get there. We'll we'll show screens in just a f couple minutes okay. here. Uh, just wanted to give a shout out to to all of our competitors here. So right. uh, we have ASMN, DWIJ. Uh, GF Zabarino, Kondakov, Dimitri, Spatsky, Sharath Kumar 92, as you mentioned, SJBR, Thomas Krinitas, and Veshu. Veshu actually helping me uh, early on in my top cutter career. Uh, when we first launched Slack, we have the challenges um, channel. Oh, yeah, and, the challenges uh, speaking into that channel. Yeah. He, he just wanted to help out, um, make the community better, and he created that. He, so we, awesome. Um, so every time a challenge gets launched, it gets put into that Slack channel and people can be notified there if, if they like. Um, he actually seems to be, I, I don't know if you, can, if you can say it this way, but he, he, um, he's the most impressive worker over there. Only just from seeing people crowded around his monitor. I don't know why. Really? There, was, there was like six people watching just him work. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, All right, well, let's move over to the leaderboard. This is a brand new leaderboard this year. Yes. Um, and I think that there's uh, some questions in the the uh, the forums right now um, about the negative points. Okay. So I'm not going to talk about that right now, but let me talk about how this works um, at a high level. Um, so first to finish, they uh, zip up their submission um, and it has a Docker file in it. So it basically, when you deploy it uh, through CI, CD, it can uh, build it, build the solution and run it. Okay. Um, so what our system does is take their upload, um, deploys it using Docker, and then runs a battery of unit tests. So if you look in the right corner, um, you see tests passed 13 out of 15. Um, and what that means, what those two numbers mean is uh, number of tests they passed out of total number. And I, I, I clarify that because if you look down at um, DWIJ and Veshu, uh, they're zero out of zero. That means that there's something wrong with the deployment okay. of their Docker file. I don't know uh, what that is or, um, or why. But when you see something out of zero, that means that we weren't able to run the battery of tests against it. Got if you look at Sharath Kumar, again, not going to talk about the negative uh, points there yet, but zero out of 15 means we could stand up his application, but none of the tests passed. Oh, so we ran 15 tests and zero passed. Okay. Um, above him, FJ, SJBR, we couldn't stand up his application, so no tests were run. That's the difference in the numbers there. Um, the points, uh, I'm not... Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not exactly clear how that's calculated, but it's an amalgam of the tests that were passed and the time, time. at which they submitted because oh, it's first to finish. It's a, it's so time has a weight in those points there. I see. But I'm not sure of the function of that. Um, so that's how that leaderboard works. But this is new this year. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually new in the last couple of months, um, how the automated testing and the visualization of the scoreboard. Because before, uh, last year we ran four first to finish challenges for these competitors so that I believe they had three hours or four hours last year to do four different top coder first to finishes right and they had to finish all four and then their score and their time was all uh, melded together and that's how you got the winner this now they're submitting in real time and you're seeing what their score is and how the battery of unit uh, test passed. It's very impressive. Yeah, it? it's pretty impressive. It's, we're kind of moving toward the scoring of how the, our algorithm competition is which is really cool because um, I believe you mentioned this before but um, Although we see um, the leader right now is GF Zabarino, he could possibly still lose some points as there are system tests to be run. 
Yes, oh right, um, so what you're seeing there is 13 out of 15 tests pass. Um, initially right now on this leaderboard, if say Thomas submits and he passes 14, he will move up into first place. Because even though he submitted after ZF Severino, he, ha he passed more tests. However, after this challenge is done, and, and the members have been made aware of this, that um, their submission will be run against a, a, a larger battery of tests. Again, just like the marathon match, right? Because there was the... the um, the test, what were the columns in the marathon match? The first column was um, example, the right. second one was full, full, and then the third one is stress. Yeah. That's kind of like this, where you have, exactly. these are the, the full tests of 15, but I don't know how many tests are in the, in the actual, um, in the full battery of tests, mm -hmm. but uh, they'll be run again. So there's going to be, even though you see this leaderboard in real time, there's not, um, the, the scores can possibly change. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so ZF Severino, Thomas, ASMN, and Kondakov Dimitri all have passing tests, which is great. Um, and I know that there's a lot of I, there's a lot of questions flying in the forum right now about submissions and about the Docker file and stuff like that. So okay. hopefully we'll get the uh, the members who have zero out of zero up on the leaderboard very soon. They only have 17 minutes left in the in the in the challenge, so that's going to be. Interesting, but <laughs> all right, let's visit some screens now. Uh, unfortunately, we are, are unable to get Akinwali's screen, there, there's something wrong with that, so we'll skip right over to ASMN. Yeah, and I, I, I feel that's looking at these screens, we're going to see a lot of the forums because they're looking. Um, here we go. Sorry, it won't be yeah, any, any update here, we'll fix the test. So, um, the, I know that they're working with the, the Top Coder uh, platform guys right now on the submissions, but um, let, let's go to the next. All right, this is Dwiz. All right, he's in my favorite ID. I, I use IntelliJ ID all the time, um, and he is using Java. So, uh, were they required to use a specific technology? It's the same. It's the same requirements as development. Um, you can use, uh, I believe, C Sharp or .NET Core, um, Java, Node, Python. And I don't know if anybody's doing uh, server-side Swift. Um, I know that well, that's what the... That, yeah. We saw that yesterday mm -hmm. in code, but I don't think that, that... I don't know if anybody's doing that here. Um, but that's what our our build and test can, uh, can, can use. Handle. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Moving over to GF Zabarino, our current leader. WebStorm. This is Node. There's the Docker file. So, yeah, they're, they're all working on the... Uh, the Docker file there. So, um, for those that don't know, um, I don't know. Uh, Docker files uh, basically, uh, back in the old days, I'm going to pull an atom. Well, we're not on camera, so I can't show the stuff doll. But uh, <laughs> back in the old days, you used to have to get you know act, uh, get a server, configure the server, FTP your code up. Docker, what it does is allows you to mimic the environment either on your machine or on the destination machine. Um, in this case, you know, when you upload it, we can we can stand up the the environment and then run the code. Um, so it's basically configuration around that. I need a database. I need that, and it's all built into this this image and, uh, to allow your server to run. So like this code will stand up on a certain port, and then you it's an API, so you hit that port. Mm -hmm. um, so the the Docker image will build a server image, and then the unit test will make requests against that server at that port to to okay. test your all first submission. There are 15 minutes remaining in the first to finish competition round. 15 I don't have much minutes. time left. Let's see what Kondakov Dimitri's up to. He's currently in fourth um, with 11 of 15 tests passing. Um, looks like he's using uh, code, VS Code. I didn't see what language that was, though. But yeah, he, again, <laughs> they're looking through the forums. Mm -hmm. um, we have... Uh, bunch of top coder guys running the back end right now but all right let's go to the next screen we don't need to watch them read forums <laughs> <laughs> so interesting like what kind of questions that these people have right Shpotsky Shpotsky developing Java as well I was over there talking to call me Katuti and he's like why doesn't anybody use uh, sublime text anymore I was like uh, Shpotsky's using it <laughs> he's on uh, this guy's on Ubuntu using using uh, uh, Sublime Text, and uh, he is using Java. Yes, That's kind of called it the Trello API. 
Yeah, so the, they have to actually move the, f the physical cards. So requests to their API act have to actually move the Trello cards. Okay. So you have to call out to Trello and say, this card, this ID, now should be in this ID column and move these things apart or, or update information. I don't actually know the full details of the spec. I don't know if they need to, to add information to the, the spec card. Mm -hmm. um, for those that don't know, check out Trello.com. It's pretty, pretty neat. You can see a, an abbreviated um, list of information on the front of the card and then you can click it and it, f it f literally flips over and there's information on the back. You can have conversations on the back and um, stuff like that. So information on, about the Top Coder challenges will be um, put into those those uh, tre Trello cards and moved across your board. Seems kind of trivial, but um, yeah, you know, for, for customers that use it, um, they use it for, for project management because, you know, Top Coder sometimes for a customer will snap into their larger application development, so they need to know where we are. And rather than sending us an email and asking us where the you know, they could just have their Trello board open and see, you know, where their challenges are, when they're expected to come in. Um, for design, they can see when they're expected to do a checkpoint, um, those kinds of things. So the information will be automated and it'll uh, lighten the load on our end because we don't have to answer those kind of questions. <laughs> Automation is key nowadays. Yeah, right. Sharath Kumar. Yeah, see, that's Trello right there. You're looking at Trello. Um, and then you the column where it said draft and in progress and in review are the different states of a challenge. Mm -hmm. So the Trello card would actually move from one, one column to the next. So would a sample test be that moving some, like it would say move? The battery of unit tests will In progress will actually move. completed. Yep. Did it do that correctly? But then there's different things with first to finish with uh, APIs where um, you may receive a request that you can't do something with. Like uh, I, I want to move Trello card ID one across to the next column, but I, Trello card ID one doesn't exist, mm. right? So they need to take into account to return the right error, 404 error, card not found, whatever, but the unit test should be looking for that. So the unit tests say, I'm gonna give this guy a spurious uh, Trello card ID, he should handle it correctly, and if he does, then that test passes. Okay. Because uh, first to finish is time-based, um, do they get docked for quality code quality again it's a little bit it's a little bit different um, as we're looking at SJBR here it's a little bit different in t TCO like I said uh, code challenges here uh, you're if you're looking at the screen right now you're seeing um, him submit but uh, code challenges are they're gray areas you know it could be a better submission not as good submission um, first to finish is usually pass fail so code quality doesn't really exist because that you wouldn't be asking for that volume of work mm -hmm. in a first to finish where code quality would come into effect. Now with this, I think it's a little bit different. And also, you know, the stress testing afterwards, I think they're just running a, a battery of tests. I don't know if they're evaluating the code. I didn't ask them that. Um, so as we see yeah. here, oh, Veshu did take the lead over Thomas for a second, it seemed, but now he's in third. Uh, yep. Not many points away, 0 0.01. But again, <laughs> there, there may be uh, maybe a little glitch with the points at this yeah. time. Wait, that was, that was strange. His screen showed a different time than that on the... His screen showed 25 minutes and that showed 10. That's interesting. Huh. Let's see what Thomas is up to. Checking the forums. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm <laughs> I'm feeling for the back end team right here um, because they uh, they're trying to put out the fires and you have two people both being crushed by time right now or two right. two sets of people being crushed by mm -hmm. time. Um, I guess not as much as uh, the the algorithm guys where it's literally counting down to your doom. But uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, Same but different. So I, I think that this, uh, yeah, see now you're refreshing the times, right? I think the, um, I think what the guys are gonna do is just rerun a battery of tests. So look at this, he, oh, he, he created a card, it. archived it, and deleted it. Um, so he was definitely testing something right there. Yeah, and you'll see them pop up um, in the comments, you, or the things he's looking at right now are, are forum posts, so it's not as interesting, but you'll see them use Postman. Postman is a, a tool that you can send a request to an API mm -hmm. rather than using t terminal and curl and writing out curl all the time. Um, you can build these tests, and that's, I believe, 
uh, don't quote me on this on, on live TV, um, I believe the battery of tests are actually written in Postman tests, and you can execute those tests um, against an API. Um, yeah, let's, 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 let's check it out on Veshu. Currently in third place. Or, no, it seemed to have moved. He's oh, no, no, he's in third. Yeah, he's using code. Oh, no, ASMN is in. ASMN is currently in third. I think it's flipping. I think they're uploading. They should move into six. So what happens with this leaderboard? I mean, I, I know that they're having some issues with the test, uh, the unit tests that are being run. And what they may just tell the competitors is the leaderboard that we we're showing in the arena may not be valid. And they're just going to run the stronger battery of tests against each one of the submissions and come back with the winners on Friday. Okay. Um, that's what I would assume is going on in the forums right now. Um, I always feel so creepy looking at somebody's Gmail. It was on the kiosk over well, there too, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, is, like you said, there's six people. Yeah, this is around. Postman you're seeing. So he sent a request, and what you see there mm -hmm. in the body is, is what he got back as a response from the API. Um, but yeah, I don't want to I don't, <laughs> don't look through his, his, uh, his Gmail. Um, so the Trello board there, you see the challenges. Um, daily assignments need display, uh, and the cards move um, back and forth. And now you're seeing the documentation on, um, on, on Trello there. So they only have about seven minutes left um, before they have to submit. And uh, like I said, the, the stronger battery test will be run after that. Let's switch, switch over. Let's go to ASMN who... That didn't switch. Oh. Is currently residing in. ASMN is in third. Third. 13 to 15 test passing. Seeing him as a first time finalist. Again, first we have about seven of them in this track. Yeah. yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Um, first time finalist, does that mean at, this is his first TCO or does that. First TCO. That always means his first TCO? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was his first time in this track and maybe you did code before oh. or something like that. No. Okay. Not that. Everybody's really concerned about that leaderboard. I know. <laughs> they keep checking in. They're worried about it. See if DeWiz has made any progress. It looks like he's submitting. So. Uploading 100%. Um, it, I believe it takes, uh, if, as I said before, the zero out of zero, um, that means that we couldn't stand up your your solution right but anybody who has the numbers there when it once your stood, solution stood up it takes about 20 to 25 seconds to run the tests against the submission get the response back for the leaderboard to update so it's not when you submit the leaderboard updates um, we have to build it um, build out the docker and stuff like that in uh, the automated testing and as I said on the uh, the development show um, I did confirm I was correct What's that? that the the, the process that we're using here where you submit and then it's automatically tested, um, that will be coming to the platform at large soon. Okay. Um, and what that means is um, uh, you can submit your code halfway through a code challenge and get information back. Right now in code, you can submit and then you can continue working. You could submit, but we only look at your last submission and it's only manual review by, by the, the, um, the reviewers on the platform. Now, You'll be able to at least see if you pass um, virus scan, which hopefully everybody passes virus scan, but then um, code quality review and maybe even these unit tests to see how well you're doing in the larger um, challenge. That's awesome. So you get feedback during the challenge, much like a, mm -hmm. a checkpoint in the design challenges. That's going to be great for learning. Yeah, and, um, and also, you know, sometimes people submit and you get the works on my machine problem yeah. know, at the end where they submit and then there's a, a flurry of things in the forum because the reviewer can't build you know some tool that you had in your environment they don't have they can't run it um, now you'll be able to submit it'll be stood up and at least you'll know that your environment can be built and reviewed by the reviewer um, that will take a, a round of you know um, support calls <laughs> basically out of out of the top coder flow which would be great or at least the forum uh, conversations People just still either in the forums or on the leaderboard. We have three minutes and 59 seconds left. 
That's what we're looking at, Spatsky. Spatsky. Uh, I'm Jesus. stressing. <laughs> well, if you're stressing, what do you think they feel like? Well, and that's funny because that's that's part of the first to finish track too. Because um, not always, but sometimes um, I'll launch a first to finish because I'm stuck. Like mm -hmm. the client requested something and I need it back fast. Um, so usually they're under the stress of, well, I need to get this in before somebody else does. I'm under the stress of the client needs this yesterday. So <laughs> that's you know kind of standard for this track anyway. Hey, look at this. Old Always forms. using the old UI. Don't do this, children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know that they're... And like I said, you know, this, this just... Uh, this leaderboard, this automated testing is brand new. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the, the mentality of do it live. <laughs> um, so we're gonna we're gonna try to be as fair as possible to the uh, the members, and um, we're gonna do the the larger battery test and update the score. So if you're looking at the leaderboard, make sure that you uh, tune in on Friday for the the awards show because it, it may shake up. What are we looking at? SJBR. So Thomas is up to just one more round, round robin here. As the Two minutes time, and 18 seconds. And as it comes down to the, to the end, I'm going to have to step away for a sec to make the announcement in person this time around. At least Thomas is still uh, coding, trying to get that last submission in here with a minute 50 left. Right, 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 yeah. And you're looking at Trello. I don't know if you can see the test, but um, it would be neat to see the cards move across. What's that, Mongo? And he's, he's testing this his man. API on here. He's getting responses back. So he's like, hey, everything's working. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Yeah, there's a card, yep. You see the card created, moving oh, completed, yeah, yeah. yep. He's not seeing the card. Oh, there's the, yeah, activity. So you're seeing the activity in the comments. You're seeing the card get deleted. You're seeing him test um, if a card doesn't exist. Yeah, let's move his. There you go. This is interesting. 409 already exists. So you're seeing him here try to break his own code, basically. So right. he's, he's getting a, co a card deleted. And last but not least, we have Veishu. Let's see what he's... Uh... Yep, he's doing some node... Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Validation error with 32 seconds left. I'm uh, interested to see how he can um, zip up the submission. Hopefully... Uh, he makes it in under the wire. Leaderboard says there's 13 seconds left. We're going to hear Nick's sweet voice announce the end of the first to finish, and then the, uh... Oh. Sweet, sweet voice. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? The 2018 Top Cover Open First to Finish Competition Championship is now complete. The final overall results of the 2018 Top Cutter Open First to Finish Championship will be revealed at the awards ceremony tomorrow. Yep. So we're looking at Veshu. I don't know what his plan is, but we got people standing up over there. Oh, right. Akinwale walked away. Hopefully he has his test working locally. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Who else we got? Anybody else over there still or no? Over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wake the leaderboard up here. Give me a second, Nick. Sure. Just refresh it for... So the competition is officially over. 
This is not reloaded yet. Give it a second before you switch over there. Sure. Don't match? Nope. I, uh, I lost the access to that, so we're not going to be able to see it. Right. So uh, currently the leaderboard says ASMN is in first with 15 to 15 passing. GF Savarino is 15 15. Veshu is 15 15. Kondevkov, Dimitri is 11. And then other people are down from there, but we will definitely see. Oh, there you go. Okay, switch over. I want to show the leaderboard there. All right, let's see what we have here. Yep. 15 out of 15. Again, so um, as you can happen, huh? Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> Akamali has. Zero. Akamali has uh, 15. Well, something's definitely up because we know yeah, that no. Thomas. Something's definitely oh, up. Things are happening right now. Oh, because he was running the submission, maybe. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, when we run the battery test, those negative points should go away. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's where it stands now. Um, like I said, we're going to run the, the larger battery test on. Uh, once this finishes, and uh, we'll see how the leaderboard shakes up tomorrow. I don't see any uh, crazy activity over there yet, but we shall see. I promise I'll come back and report in what happened. You better. <laughs> and by come back, I mean stay here, because I'm here. <laughs> What else? Anything else you want to talk about there, Nick? Not right now, no. Um, Do you have the... Uh, I think we lost our shit, so I don't have the, um, the Twitch stream up, so we'll have to find it. If there's any questions, when we bring up uh, Akinwale... There we go. Oh, see? Yeah, Top Carter right. website, old UI, hard shit. forums. Yeah, we can't... Uh, you can't use those. You're not allowed. <laughs> 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 All right. So we will be right back um, as they get um, settled with their submissions. We will have Akinwale and Sharath Kumar on the show. So stick around. We'll be back in a